Welcome to Fly Shiki's TV. My name is Flood, the Alkaline Investor. And here we have today the one and only Billy Carson. How are you doing Thank today? You. Hey, fantastic, man. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Awesome, man. Yeah, no, it's definitely our pleasure. It's definitely our pleasure. Um, so if you don't mind, man, I want to dive right in. I got a lot of stuff I want to ask. I'm a big fan of yours. Um, okay. And I really look up, look up to you and consider you like one of the OGs in the game when it comes to you know, get passing out this real information and, and this real life changing uh, knowledge that we should all be trying to soak up. So oh, um, thank you, man. You're welcome. You're welcome. Can you speak a little bit more about that? Like in a more a little bit more about like the differences and the things that were happening on other planets, you know, at the same time that the major issues were going sure. on on Earth? Oh, yeah, definitely. This is very clearly talked about in the Mahabharata and the Atrahasis epic and the epic of Gilgamesh. These are all ancient texts in the uh, Egyptian Book of the Dead, which is really called the Egyptian Book of Going Forth by Day. That's the true name of the te text. You find out that there are, are advanced beings. They call them the Naturu. They've been called, you know, Naturu. the gods. They've been called, you know, the Olympians. They've been called everything around this planet. But these people always come from somewhere else to this planet. And according to these texts, they really, they literally moved in. They created a breakaway civilization in our solar system, not on Earth in the entire solar system. And there were these beings called the EGG, which were this working class Anunnaki level uh, of people that were working and living on Mars, some on Titan, some even on the moon. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, there was something that had happened where one family uh, bloodline had crossed another family bloodline and that one bloodline was stricken to be banished to the moon and had their technology stripped away. Uh, this, is, this is like crazy stuff in this text. It's like yeah. you're reading this and you're going, who, you know, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 years ago has time to sit down and make these kind of stories up off the top of their head? That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's just too technologically advanced. And the science behind a lot of the things they talk about is being used today. The evidence of it is like, okay, we've actually had to use that specific technique to do these things, including a lot of the weapons that were created as well. I think that a lot of these modern day weapons that we have now were created by reading these ancient texts. That's why when the nuclear bomb, you know, the first testing uh, of it went off, uh, I, Oppenheimer, who actually is the father of the nuclear bomb, not Einstein, he actually quoted the Mahabharata. He said, now mm -hmm. I am, you know, the bringer of death, just to paraphrase it, uh, destroyer of worlds. He got that from the Mahabharata. So they have been studying these ancient texts, you know, for a very long time. But, you know, there were, there were people living throughout this entire solar system. Uh, there's a planet out there right after Mars that a lot of people don't know exists. It's called Ceres, C-E-R-E-S. Okay. It has more fresh water on it than Earth, okay? Wow. Well documented. This is in the history books. This is in astrophysics books. And they don't talk about it much, but when they sent a probe by it a few years ago, the lights were on on the planet. And then they wow. tried to say, oh, it was the ice and this and that. Maybe the ice was glittering off the sunlight. But when they got to the backside where it wasn't facing the sun, mm -hmm. the lights were on. <laughs> wow. You know, so there's probably people living right there. So they're always telling us, you know, 20 million uh, light years away, there's this, there's this exoplanet. But right above our heads, I think there's people living right above us right now. Mm. Yeah. 